Today we have Jack Neglieri, an expert on ex executive functioning, as you all know it, EF. Thank you for being here today. How did you come up with EF and what was your motivation behind it? The concept of executive function is something that's been studied since the mid-1800s. When we learn about executive function, we're really learning about how the brain works. And then when we try to teach people to use executive function, we're really teaching them how to think smarter by using the front part of their brain. How uh, can EF help students in school? EF can have a tremendous impact on students in school and also in life. It's really not just about school. It's about thinking smart for life. At this stage, at high school, we are now students becoming adults have to take a lot more responsibility for what they do. They really, that really involves so much more EF than what you've done in the past. Usually, what we do in school is we're taught to remember. EF is an approach to teach you to think. And when you can think better, you can do better in school and in life and interpersonal, on mm -hmm. the job. How do you think it could work in a workplace? Like, any examples? Oh, absolutely. So today, when we listened to some of the students talk about when they're <coughs> serving, and one, one young man was a server in a restaurant, and he was serving some challenging people, he reflected on what can I do to do my job properly and that would mean not responding in certain ways when a customer wasn't very nice yeah. um, and responding in a professional way in a way that makes him successful as a server and in, as an employee and allows him to make money so he can achieve his other goals. So in that particular example EF was a lot about impulse control and self-control coming up with a good strategy to deal with a difficult situation at the moment while it's happening. And it definitely was thinking about thinking. Thinking about what you're going to do to obtain a goal that you want. And that's smart thinking. Do you think that EF could be more targeted at people that have maybe an anger issue or have trouble putting together their emotions? EF is definitely about emotions. It's definitely about control of emotions. Because now, once your emotions are under control, then you can focus in on all the other things that you want to try to achieve. So you're calm, you think thoughtful, you say to yourself, well, I could do these several different ways, I'll do this way. If you're over-emotional and all worked up, then you might just do anything that you come to think of as the first thing and it may not be very good. How can EF help students be more successful in school? I have done a lot of research that has shown very clearly that by teaching students to better use their executive function, it improves the academic performance in the classroom and improves performance on standardized tests and it lasts over time. The reason that by this kind of teaching works so well is because it changes how a person thinks about the work that they do. So ordinarily you might get work and you say, okay, I'm going to do it, but you don't really think about how you're going to do it. You just do it. Mm -hmm. Well, when you approach the task using good executive function, then you think, okay, I have to do this work, how should I do it? Well, maybe the first step should be, I need to find a better place to work because I can't do it on the kitchen table with everybody around. So then you go to another place and you find a place that's quiet. And then you say maybe, well, I really can't do it now because my phone keeps buzzing. I'm going to turn it off or put it someplace else. Mm -hmm. So EF allows you to make better decisions about how you're doing what you're doing. And when you make good decisions about 
how you do what you do. You're going to be smarter. EF applies to just about everything we do. The research that I've done has shown that when you encourage people to think more strategically, in other words, use their EF, it helps everybody, but it helps the people who need it the most, the most. So everybody improves, but the people who aren't the best to begin with will improve the most. Thank you very much, Jack. That was my pleasure. Thank you as well.